But it was really good and very entertaining. I think it's really good. The play is really interesting. It's about these two girls and they meet and they begin a friendship together and they go through all these difficulties. I've always been interested in the friendship between girls and one day I was going past um, a, a council estate and I saw a kid riding a bike and I thought this is about the only place that nowadays children can have a bit of freedom and I thought one day I want to write about a child like that. A child from a really posh background and a kid who's really had a tough time and actually show that they're both lovely girls, bright girls, love reading and who bond and just form this wonderful friendship. What's your name then? India. What? Like the place? Yes, it's a stupid name. Oh, no, I like place names. Like Brooklyn for a boy. Well, I think it's a, a really good story. I think it's very exciting. It's got a thriller quality to it, uh, which is a real page turner. So you, once you start, you want to know what happens next. Now you're my diary. And this is the start of my whole new life. I am never going home again. It was very strange watching Secrets because I got very much caught up in it. I was really on the edge of my seat thinking, what's going to happen next? How are they going to work it out? Because I couldn't remember how I'd actually sorted it out and to get everything to happen perfectly for both girls. And so it was a great relief to see it all developing. I hate school. I hate all the teachers. I hate all the girls. And I wish more than anything that I had a proper best friend. India in Secrets absolutely hero worships, worships Anne Frank. And Anne Frank is my all-time heroine. She was this terrific Jewish girl who had to hide from the Nazis in Amsterdam. And she kept a diary. I think it's such a moving book. And I very much wanted to introduce children to Anne Frank's diary. At school we, learned, we were, used to be learning about Anne Frank and I didn't exactly understand what she did and think and now I understand how what she actually did. I keep a diary! I keep a diary too! Well I don't. I'm not telling my secrets to nobody. I rather like Treasure's Nan. I do think she's absolutely a sterling character. You can call me Nan, all the kids do. <laughs> and I love it that she does line dancing. I used to go line dancing a great deal. Left, right, left, right, chicken. To be amongst the audience, it's just such a, a fantastic experience. When you write a book, you don't actually see all the children reading it, but that's what makes theatre such a magical thing. It's a shared experience. I thought it was really good. It's a really good story and it had a good message in it. Too. I thought it was really, really good. I really liked it. Practically the whole class in the school went to see it. I'm really enjoying it. I want to know what happens next time. I wanted to feel like Anne Frank. She has stuff all over her walls. That's you. And there's Nan doing a line dance. And that's a very small Loretta and a very big baby Britney. Well, I like Britney more than Loretta. Oh. When I went to see it, there were children as young as seven. There were many teenagers, mums, dads, grannies. It does seem very much a show for everybody. The best day of my life was when I met you. Yeah. It was one of mine too. There are some heartbreaking moments, but you, you go out of the theatre smiling too. Come and see Secrets. It's brilliant. Come and see the show. Come and see Secrets.